Hello, welcome back to the Be Your Own Style channel. Today is all about some of my current favorite styling tricks and I'm sharing them with you. share that today's sponsor is Pile Case. Pile Case is actually the world's first compostable phone case. Whenever I pick out a phone case, I have to consider this is somewhat of an accessory to my outfit. So I love to go through the process of finding one that I really love, and I also love what they're all about. And that's why I was so excited to partner with Pile Case. All of their products are made to order in Canada to reduce waste, and I love that everything is made from plants to be compostable. So it can be composted in your yard or even industrial compost, but it's so well made that it won't break down in your purse, your bag, or your pocket, anywhere. I actually put a lot of time and thought into the phone cases that I choose, and I love that Pile case had so many cute designs. It is the accessory to my outfit, and I want it to really pop. I fell in love with this one, first of all, because it's a beehive, and I be Joan style. So I loved the color. I loved that it looked like a honeycomb, and it even had a little slot for me to put my credit cards, my license my Crossroads gift card, just anything like that. And so I really love that. It's also really soft and grippy and just has like a really great feel to it. And so many of the designs, which I have a few, and so I feel that I'm having some dress up moments, switching them in and out with some that look kind of marbleized or other ones that have really cute graphics on them. They have so many cute selections. They are made by plants, but they're also military drop protection on your phone because we do not want the cracked screen. And I've really, on my phone all the time and I've had a lot of success with it protecting my phone and if you're the first one to watch this listen to this now because the first 50 people to use the code Beth or click the link down in my video description are going to get 40% off your first phone case with Pile case and anyone after those first 50 are going to get 25% off which is still such a great deal and happy shopping the Pile case and know that you're getting something really well made it's also compostable and it looks really great. It's an accessory to your outfit. I've been making a list all summer of some of the things that I've been loving doing lately and I'm so excited to kind of put this all together in one video for you. So we're going to tackle some styling tricks that I am loving using skirts and button downs and then I'm going to throw one quick little scarf one in there for you as well. jump in to some of my styling tricks with skirts. I'm loving, I, I've always loved skirts. I think some people don't want to wear skirts, but I love them. But I definitely feel like I'm on a whole new kick with skirts where I've been buying a lot of them. And I've also been styling them in some kind of unique and fun ways. And I wanted to share those with you. The first one kind of has two parts. First, I've been having a great time layering two skirts on top of each other. One is the top and one is the skirt bottom and then belting and ruching and cinching to create more of a dramatic shape as if I'm wearing a full crazy boosted dress. I did this a few different times, but one, I was creating a Carrie Bradshaw moment. I found these two amazing skirts that I'm gonna show you in a second what I did and how I did it. But I took the two and I layered them over top of each other and then I put a belt on and kind of brought pieces up and tucked them around to create more of this, um, what's a bustle, like a bustle detail onto the skirts. And then I think because of that, that kept kind of playing out during the summer when I was in Savannah, I found this amazing black uh, like Mac studio dress that had some fun little flowers on it and I threw that over a sheer lace skirt and again I did the same thing where I picked up pieces of the skirt tucked them into a belt to create more of this bustle effect and it looked like I had a really romantic kind of old world dress on when really I just had two dresses on so you can really do this with two skirts or a dress over a skirt so the whole idea can really just be played with and really that is what all of this is about is just playing I often stand in the mirror and think how else can I do this how else can I wear this and so that's how this all came about and I was so excited to show you how to do uh, the two skirt look
about skirts lately is I've been taking skirts that are elastic waistbands. Often they're more of a mini skirt or kind of knee length is how I'm seeing the most success with it. But you could probably do this with a really long skirt as well. But I found this incredible floral, kind of like patch floral skirt. I think you saw it probably in one of my thrift videos. And I loved, oh, I think in that video, I, I wasn't going to get it. And then I pulled it on like up and I was like, oh my gosh, this is such a cute top. Never mind, I'm taking this home. So I brought it home with that idea. But then one day I was thinking, you know what? What if I just stuck one arm through it and then made it more of an asymmetric top. And I ended up wearing it with those really incredible vintage fisherman pants that I got from Vintage Rosemont. I just threw it over my shoulder asymmetrically, put them on with some really voluminous pants, and then I ended up belting it to kind of cinch in the side. Otherwise, it would just be like fully open. And I think I just wore a tube top under it that day. Um, but you really could play around with different ideas. You could layer it over another top if you wanted to have some mixed print fun. So I've been having a lot of fun with that. And of course, I wore it like this here, just pulled up as a tube top. You could even belt it if you wanted to create more of a bustle detail with it as well. I've been taking wrap skirts, again, either a mini length or a midi length and making them into tops as well. You also may remember, I think in the same <laughs> thrifting video, I found that really great green wrap skirt. I started playing around with that green skirt and realized I can make that into a very fun halter top by wrapping it around my neck and tying it to create really that great halter style and then low in the back and it creates a little bit of drape and it's just like a fun summer styling trick. This red wrap skirt at Crossroads. It's an old kind of 90s uh, Banana Republic skirt. And this one is more mini length and I've been having fun wrapping that as a tube top, but then cinching it again around my waist and creating a little bit of a different top, almost a corset style. And really this will be fun taking this into pre-fall and fall before it gets super cold. I think layering that over other tops or a print turtleneck and just playing around with that idea. Now let's hop into what has become one of my best friends this season, and that's a button down shirt, it, particularly a men's or very oversized button down because there really is so much that you can do with it. As you can see, I've just been having fun wearing them a lot. Nothing crazy and different, but just I've corseted them, I've been tying them, I've been wearing like men's pajama button down sets. I really have loved this. This has been like my go to the beach cover up every single time. Um, I also just love it for a dressed up look with a little bit of something effortless thrown in the mix. And I have been loving the traditional look with more of that kind of blue and a white stripe or just playing with some of the pastels with pink and even purple. There's a ton of really fun ideas out there that you can Google on, look on TikTok and see lots of different ways to wear the button down and use them in unique ways. I'm just going to share a few that I've been doing lately and give you tips on how to do it. The first one is so simple, but I, and I've been talking about this a lot, I love taking these shirts and tying them around the waist, but not doing the typical kind of 90s tie where you just tie it in the front. I've been actually loving almost creating more of a layer and a belt look by tying them off to the side and just doing a, I don't even know what you'd call this, but like a pull through tie instead of both 
uh, arms coming out and it creates a cinched look. It creates another texture, another layer, and I've been playing with this with button downs and actually other long sleeve shirts as well. And that will continue on into fall and winter. shoulder look which you can button it asymmetric if you want or just button one and then kind of tuck them in to your waistband in a crisscross pattern but then let it shrug off your shoulders to create more of this kind of sassy fun look for the evening and of course tucking those into denim to skirts to trouser pants just playing with that whole idea of off the shoulder i've also been loving this uh worn underneath either a corset style dress or um, just even a corset top where you kind of get that extra drama of off the shoulder in the mix with like another layer on top. And this one is really fun to play with. You can actually take these shirts and make them into a corset top by just buttoning, not putting it all the way over your arms, but buttoning it up here and then cinching it in at the waist and again, creating more fun, more layers, and to me this is a great way to layer without adding bulk and warmth when it's not cold yet. And then you can also just wear these as skirts, really simple. You can have your bathing suit on and then button them up, put them at your waist, tie right there at the waist and you've got this really cute little skirt and then if you want you can pull it up and wear it as a top over your bathing suit as well but you can really just have a lot of fun using it as a skirt as well and this is nothing mind-blowing but just something i've been doing and loving is taking a scarf and of course wearing it as a scarf top is always fun but I've actually been taking it and wearing it to the side around dresses or tops again to add another layer and another print or color but it's done a little bit differently it feels unique and fun and fresh and it's not just the typical way of wearing a scarf top so just off to the side tied around definitely feels like something Carrie Bradshaw would have done I don't know if she ever did exactly that but she was always taking scarves and just throwing them on to outfits and so I liked that idea of going off to the side with it and that is it those are some of my styling tricks that i've been doing lately and just having fun with the idea of always playing dress up <laughs> um i love to just stand in front of my mirror and put something on and then think okay what else how else could i do that and actually this isn't one that we talked about here but you can go back and see this TikTok video where I talk about it. I actually took a short sleeve blazer, flipped it around backwards the other day, pulled it off my shoulders and then belted it around the waist and it ended up creating this really incredible unique dress style that just felt really fun and fresh and that just came from me standing there and thinking okay I could wear it you know the typical way that's cute but what else could I do with it and so sometimes just the idea of playing and not worrying even if it works or what people think or whatever sometimes there fails but who cares it's just fun to play. So thanks so much for watching. I'm planning on doing more of these styling trick videos. So maybe every season or maybe twice a season, I'll add some of my favorite tricks that I'm having fun with and get you guys in on all of the details so that you feel like you can play around with it in your closet. And don't forget, you can click the link down below or use my code Beth and the first 50 are gonna get 40% off a Pile case, and then after that, 25% off for everyone else. So make sure you click the link down below or use my code BEST to get one of those really cute phone cases. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. You can subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every single Thursday, and make sure you click the link down in my video description to sign up for the weekly scoop email that comes every single Tuesday. It's full of so much inspiration and fun. And finally, always play dress up. Bye! Thank you.